family of a correctional officer killed inside a prison insists time is running out on a wrongful death settlement with the state. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. Joseph Gum's loved ones insist they are ready to go to court over his death if lawmakers don't come through on a promised $3 million settlement over the deadly attack in 2018. Our Paul Bloom is live outside the Capitol tonight. Paul, the Gums are saying they can't find peace with this settlement hanging over their heads. Exactly. And Amy, Kelsey, just to correct the record off the top, no lawsuit has been filed at this point. Now, the GOMS point out that multiple investigations did reveal some serious workplace issues inside the Stillwater prison where Joseph GOM was killed nearly three years ago now. And of course, the inmate who carried out that attack has since pleaded guilty to first degree murder. And the GOMS explained that they've seen huge payouts, settlement payouts from governmental entities over the last couple of years, most notably the city of Minneapolis for police killings. And they want to know why their brother's life is not valued as much. And they don't want to do anything for our family. Where's the justice there? Hurt frustration and anger on Thursday from the family of slain Minnesota corrections officer Joseph Gom. Gom was brutally beaten and killed by inmate Edward Johnson while on duty inside the Stillwater prison in July 2018. The DOC still calling it the darkest day in department history. For the last three years all we've gotten from everybody is we are sorry for your loss. We want to make this right. We've gotten nothing but lip service from everybody because nobody wants to do anything. Gum's loved ones, including Sister Audrey Cohn and their legal team, have said state lawmakers promised the family a $3 million settlement to avoid costly civil litigation over a potential wrongful death lawsuit. Multiple investigations found staffing and safety issues inside the prison, as well as missed warning signs for the volatile Johnson. But so far, the $3 million settlement hasn't gotten a legislative vote in St. Paul, and the GOMs are quickly coming up on the three-year statute of limitations to file their litigation. So time is running out, and so is their patience. In the past three years, we have not, as a family, ever been allowed to heal. We can't talk about this. We can't move on with our lives. This isn't over. Joe might be buried over in Roseville, but this is not over for us until it's done, and it's not done, and we've been strung along for three years now. Now, the DOC points out the GOMs have received several hundred thousand dollars in payments through various state and federal mechanisms covering the on-duty deaths of correctional and law, and law enforcement officers, also, also workers' compensation benefits for next of kin. The department believes a general appropriate, appropriation from the legislature might be seen as unfair to others, and lawmakers would have to give strong consideration to the precedent it might set, say, for the next time a MnDOT worker is killed along the highway. So stay tuned to see if this GOM case eventually ends up in court. We're live outside the Capitol tonight. Paul Blim, Fox 9.